here, as you can see, for every IC in the motherboard, it is surrounded by many components, exactly by many ceramic capacitors, as you can see. This is ceramic capacitor. The question here is, how can we check the serviceability of this IC? Because we have here a lot of pins. You can check this, the serviceability of this IC using two methods. You can check the PF capacitors around it. If you find a shorted capacitor, means the IC is shorted. You should replace it. Or you can check the heat using your finger. If the heat of the IC is not normal, if the IC is very hot, means it is failed. I will show you right now how you can check the IC by checking the ceramic capacitor around it. As you can see, for example, if you look to this IC, this is just an example. Okay, so as you can see, here we have some PF or ceramic capacitors. Always one side of ceramic capacitor are connected to the ground and the other side, as you can see, is connected to the IC, as you can see. Okay, here also, as you can see, we have a ceramic capacitor and even a chemical capacitor. In, in both sides here, in this side, capacitors are connected to the ground and in the other are connected, as you can see, to the IC. So let's see another IC. So as you can see here, we have a ceramic capacitor. In the pin number two, it is connected to the ground. And in the pin number one is connected, as you can see, to VTTRF, to, this, to the IC. The same for this. As you can see, it is connected to the ground here, but in the other pin is connected to VN of the IC. Let's see this two also. These two also are connected to the ground, as you can see in the sides, but in the other sides are connected, as you can see, to the IC. This mean what? This mean if you find a shorted ceramic capacitor, means a ceramic capacitor that is connected also to the ground in this side, means this IC is short. Maybe the ceramic capacitor can be shorted, but 90 or 99 percent the IC is the shortest component. I will show you in the motherboard how to check the IC and the ceramic capacitor using the multimeter. So now we're going to check this IC using the multimeter. We will check this IC by checking the ceramic capacitors around it. So the rule is the ceramic capacitor should be connected to the ground in just one side, not in both sides. If you find a ceramic capacitor that is connected to the ground in both sides, means there is a short circuit here. The short circuit can be here with 90%. So first we should select the buzzer option or the continuity option and then press the power button. So let's first check the continuity. So the continuity is seated correctly. So let's put the black probe in the ground everywhere in this motherboard. So here we have ground, as you can see. Here we have ground everywhere in the motherboard, as you can see. So now Let's check the ceramic capacitors. So let's begin with this, for example, these two. Here, the ceramic capacitor is connected to ground. And here, no. So good. For this, it is connected to the ground in the side, in the side now. So let's check this also. In the side now, in the side yes, good. Now, yes. Now, yes. Okay? Here, now, yes. Connected here to the IC, here to the ground. Here, here to the ground, here should not be connected to the ground. The same for this, as you can see. Here it is connected to the ground, in the side now. For this also, here connected to the ground, in the side now, etc. You can also check the PF capacitor using the probe. 
if you hear a buzzer or you get a continuity means there is a short circuit in this in the circuit maybe the serial capacitor or maybe the IC but in my experience 90% or 95% or even 99% the cause of the short circuit in the motherboard is the ICs okay so if you find a shorted ceramic capacitor means the IC is shorted you can even check it using your finger just plug the power here in the power jack and check do I see using your finger if you feel that the IC is hot means 100% the IC is bad you should replace it with another IC with the same reference okay with the same reference okay so if you find a shorted ceramic capacitor like this means the IC should be replaced Okay. The symbol for the big IC, as you can see, for the processor, for example, or the RAM, its circuit diagram will be like this, as you can see. Okay, when we find a rectangle like this with many squares and rectangle, means this is a chip. Okay, this is a chip, and here all these are controlled. For example, you can find here, for example here the clock for example okay here you can find the ground okay so this all this part in the chip is connected to the ground and here is for the clock here for example you can find USB here you can find the power management for example okay and here for example you can you can find the control signals okay so this is the symbol or the circuit diagram of the chip in the motherboard schematic okay and for the IC like this for example you can find it like this a square with mini pins here okay in the far side or in both sides so this is the IC this is the symbol for the ice okay motherboard you will find ices around it main component this is a very important tip when you find an ic like this as you can see an ic or a power management okay so this ic of course has many inputs for example like v in for example the working power let's assume that the v in is 5 volt for example it will receive of course some enable signals okay some enable signals and will be connected of course to the ground etc so near to this ic you will find many capacitors okay many ceramic capacitors as you can see okay so all these capacitors are connected to the ground in one side but in the other side should not be connected to the ground so in this side the ceramic capacitor are connected to the ground but in the other side are connected to the IC so to check the serviceability of this IC you can just check this ceramic capacitors the ceramic capacitor should not be shorted to the ground in the both sides okay if you find any ceramic capacitor okay around any ic that is shorted to the ground in the both sides means this ic is shorted is bad okay you can even check the serviceability of ic's using your finger if you feel that the ic is hot means it is bad you should replace it with another ic with the same reference Okay, of course, as I told to you before, every IC has a reference above it in its body. You should always use the reference if you want to replace the IC.